So I picked up this little kit from uh, Amazon. It's a B-Tool Pro Fuel Injection Pressure Tester Kit. Um, like I said, I purchased this one from Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. But it looks like exactly like the kit um, that like Harbor Freight has, I believe, or used to have. Um, my guess it's probably you know like a Chinese made and gets you know relabeled or uh, by various sellers and things like that. So it's probably they're probably all the same. But I just needed a, a cheap. I was looking for a cheap uh, kit to do some uh, troubleshooting on the cabriolet. Um, so I picked this up and we're gonna check it out um just want to open it up so when i did open it up the first time like uh all none of these fittings like a bunch of these fittings were loose um you know during shipping they must have got knocked out of their spots but thankfully it did come with like this little diagram a photo so i was able to put everything back um to where it goes so there's this little piece of foam here separating the top and the bottom but you can see it has all the hoses and uh, you know, it has different hoses with different fittings. This is the actual gauge. Um, has some hard lines, you know, and like I said, all different threads apparently and um, different uh, little bag with additional seals, like the little gaskets, the little O-rings that go over the, the parts there. Um, there's some hose clamps in there and it looks like some like... Uh, nylon type uh washers um but that's really it uh I don't know. we'll give it a whirl but this is just it from a packaging point of view like i said it came with the photo and i guess there's a little manual here as well um so i am going to use this to test out the um control pressure and uh you know like the baseline pressure just make sure everything checks out on this because the cabriolet does start um it runs rough on a cold start so basically when you first turn it on it um it run it starts easily but when it's idling it it has to warm up or if you give any throttle while it's still cold it basically then stalls and then runs very rough, idles very rough until it's form fully warmed up. And once it's warmed up, it runs great. Um, it's just that cold idle um, uh, scenario where it's problematic. And uh, you know, and, I, and I've cleaned up the the warm up regulator, replaced the seals in it. I cleaned up the cold start injector, um, but there's a couple other things that I want to test before I actually test those realistically the first thing i should have done was start with the fuel distributor and make sure the fuel pressure and everything is where it's supposed to be so that's what i'm going to do so one cool thing off the bat is the documentation for the kit actually tells you what some of these uh connectors are actually designed for so i mean some it just refers to as you know here's a uh, quarter inch you know hose or whatever or, or like you know an m8 by one female adapter kind of thing but if you look some are very specific and the one that caught my attention is this guy right here which is the the bosch cis uh valve assembly so that is this this one in the kit um and if you look I think on the next page it actually shows you how that rig goes so basically it's this 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 part here so I'll pull it out and in this illustration it's the regular gauge put it, connected to this barb and then i think these two lines you just disconnect the uh the line from the fuel distributor that goes to the warm-up regulator and basically splice this in in between so the plan is to undo this line here and connect that test rig this the bosch test rig so basically i'm going to disconnect here connect this to that to the actual fuel distributor 
and then connect basically the loose end to the other the other end of the test rig so then it's spliced in so here's what the gauge looks like when it's all basically connected to the car so i have the regular right test gauge just hanging under the hood in a convenient location here's the line that uh goes down to that cis uh bosch cis um test fitting so it's just plugged in here onto this little barb with like a little compression fitting kind of thing um the one thing about you know this is the one spot where you can mess up this little test rig here this little test connector um it has a valve on one side of it right so this is a little shut off valve so it's important that this gets installed like this and that is the side without the valve right here's the t the side without the valve goes to the fuel distributor so it, it's the center port on the fuel distributor and um this is where you, know, you use just a 14 millimeter wrench and you remove the fuel line that was connected here and connect the test rig, this test connector, test rig here, okay? So then you take that fuel line that you just removed from the fuel distributor and um, connect the other end of the tester to it. This is a little tricky. I had to use a couple of the other fittings in the kit, which I will share um, in this video. Uh, so I had a couple leaks here the first time I set it up. You can see I actually like over tightened the little O-ring in there is like bulging and that caused like a little leak and that's why I have this little rag underneath as well. So this is the fuel line that runs to the warm-up regulator, which is on the side of the block um, or the control pressure regulator, right? It goes by multiple names, um, but it's mounted over there. I already did a video. I have an earlier video where I rebuilt it, cleaned it up, changed all the seals in it. Um, so that's really it with the the rig and here are the tests that you basically do with the valve closed you should be able to start so if the valve's closed essentially what you're doing is you are bypassing the whole warm-up regulator or control pressure regulator so right it, the fuel just doesn't go that way um so you'll get what they i guess refer to as system pressure um and it should be like around five bar or 70 psi I've heard people say 70, 75, 70 to 75 PSI. Um, that's that, right? And then if that checks out, then I guess, you know, the pump is fine. Your accumulator um, is okay, that sort of thing. Um, the other piece then is you run it with the valve open. You open up the valve and you should, it should start much lower. So it should start at like 25 PSI, I guess. Um, you know, like one and a half bar, somewhere in that one, one and a half bar, I guess. And as the vehicle warms up, it should slowly increase. Um, and I think, I think, uh, I read, you know, around 50, 55 PSI. So the idea is if you open that valve and it's still at 70, that's a problem because then it basically says that your cold start regulator or not cold start warm-up regulator or control pressure regulator isn't doing its job it's not adjusting the control pressure which um changes where the the va uh, the flap is in the um in the fuel distributor and with allowing um the proper enrichment for a cold start so that's the initial test um that's how the rig gets set up so here we are with the valve closed and so you'll see we should be getting around 5 bar 70 to 75 psi for fuel pressure for the system pressure right this is basically what the what the fuel pump is delivering so we're good that you know close enough so the real issue now is to open the valve and see what is happening with the control pressure regulator or the warm-up regulator if you open the valve and still get 70 psi then you know it's not doing its job right it's not adding the cold enrichment and letting more air in um, when the vehicle is cold this is a cold start the valve is open 
So what we should see is it should start around 25 PSI as, it, as it warms up the fuel pressure, the control pressure should go up in like the 50, 55 range. So it's a little over one bar, 20, PS, 20 uh, PSI. So it should slowly go up to like the 50, 55 range. So the pressure is still increasing, we're almost at 40. So the control pressure is at 50, three and a half bar almost, which is where it's supposed to be. Um, the fans haven't kicked on yet, so we'll wait a little longer just to make sure. So the fuel pressure is basically topped out at 50 um, PSI. Which I believe is right where it needs to be. So what did we just prove with the two tests? One is we proved that the system pressure, so that 70 PSI, um, demonstrates that the fuel pump is doing its job and is, is flowing adequately. And then the second thing we proved when we actually did the, the uh, control pressure test and actually opened the valve and let the fuel flow to the, um, to the warm-up regulator down there, um, we proved that the warm-up regulator was doing its job. So we saw it started, it started low. It started around 20, 25 PSI, and then it worked its way up to 50 as as the actual regulator warmed up which meant that the the um you know basically as it warmed up the enrichment dropped to where it was supposed to this was the first test um you know this is you really need to just check that the fuel pressure is adequate here um before you know exploring other avenues in the fuel system in the in the cis fuel injection um I have a suspicion as we we're going through it that I noticed something um, as to what it might be. So I am going to work on that very soon and uh, basically do another cold start test. Um, but so far, so good. And, uh, you know, it's good to know that the fuel pressure was good. At one point, you know, I didn't want to throw parts at this and where people were talking in forums, oh, you need a, an accumulator. Um, but I don't think I do. So that's how you use this little inexpensive um, fuel pressure tester kit uh, to just basically run two quick tests. Um, I am just gonna now disconnect again, disconnect this fitting here and this fitting here and take this hose and reconnect it back to the fuel distributor and we are done. Um, it's a 14 millimeter uh, wrench and uh, that will be it for this and I can move on in troubleshooting um, the rest of this issue. I wanted to quickly show what I used. Um, it was all within the kit but basically it's the CIS tester piece. Um, this end threaded right onto the fuel distributor the fuel distributor had um, a little a little piece like this one already in it, so that threaded right up to it with a little like copper or not copper aluminum washer for the seal. And then this end, I basically used these two components in the kit. So. I had to use this to get, to make this end basically a male end. So it was this guy. And like I said, there was already one of these on the car um, for that end. 
So this was used for to um, convert this side to a male end. And then this was used, this little guy here was, this guy here was what was needed to basically convert, connect that to the small end of this. This was at one end to make the connection to the warm-up regulator, to the fuel line. And then this end was ready to go to connect to the fuel distributor with the little fitting that was already there. So again, the pieces were right in the kit. Um, so I'm thrilled. I mean, this kit was complete. I didn't have to chase down any other fittings. And actually, um, there were two of these in the kit. And the first one, I it leaked when I first ran the test. And I basically cranked down on it. And this is fairly soft brass, and I broke it. So two things. One, it's cool that the kit has so many parts that it actually came with two of these. Two, don't be a dummy like me and crank down on soft brass trying to stop a leak because it will break. Um, but So even with breaking this, there were enough components in the kit to connect everything properly. So with that all said, um, again, I will have a link to this kit down below in the description. Um, I bought it off of Amazon, so that's the link I'll include. Um, I will continue to troubleshoot the Cabriolet's cold start problem. I have a couple ideas, and even if one of them pans out, there's still a couple things I want to um, do to it and demonstrate, create a video. One will be setting the timing, the other issue, the other thing I want to do is uh, demonstrate how to adjust the air fuel um, mixture, which I've already done on it, but I, I just wanted to demonstrate that. But otherwise, continue to uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll create, keep on creating content like this. Thank you very much.